I don't feel I make a portrait. I make these marks. It's vaguely resembling some photograph of a person that intrigued me. But it's not a portrait of that person. I don't know that person. I can't paint their soul. All I can hope to do is have that portrait reflect something about me. It's a self-portrait. Even if it's a woman, it's a self-portrait. Something about my hopes, my dreams, my loves, my losses, my victories, my defeats, my compromises. And yet, to me that isn't meaningful to someone else. It isn't even beyond the absurd that I should spend my day making marks on a gesso board about myself. Only if somehow or another, in some mysterious way, some viewer can see it and say, oh, that's about me. That's a portrait of me. David Slater, who has never met me, has done a portrait of me, of my hopes, my fears, my victories, my defeats, my compromises. If I can do that, then what I do is not just absurd, but it's also just maybe mysterious enough to be worth it. Okay, so February 4th, uh, first Thursday, 6 to 9 at Gallery 114. Uh, I'm showing for the first time in 17 years. Uh, 17 years ago, um, I had a, essentially a group show, except I was the group because I make lots of different things and it had guitars in it and paintings in it. Um, and I was working a lot on these guitars I make and they didn't fit in the galleries very well. And galleries had never shown much interest in, uh, draw, in uh, showing drawings. So I just dropped out of, draw, of galleries altogether and um, it allowed me to, I continued working on visual art the whole time. Um, but it allowed me to uh, work from uh, more and more private motivation without any sense of how this stuff is going to look, how it's going to be read, and all that. In the course of that, I uh, kind of stumbled into a way of drawing where I could let go of a lot of the deliberate control that was there in my early drawing. And uh, the way I do that is I don't look at the paper a lot of the time while I'm drawing. Um, I glance at it from time to time, but most of the time I'm just riveted on the subject that I'm observing, studying that and using the marks to just explore the nature and structure of, of uh, what I'm observing, and then just hope that there's some echo of that in this uh, blind residue. Um, and it turns out, if I'm willing to make enough of these, there is. Uh, some of them uh, read in a way that's much more interesting to me than uh, more deliberate manners of drawing. And so I've just been going to the well again and again, hundreds and hundreds of drawings, uh, trying to find that place of uh, balance uh, between uh, control and lack of control, uh, uh, influence and abandonment.